Hi, and welcome back to The Scripture Life. My name is Lanita Downs, and today is Faith and Freedom Friday. Amen. Uh, we're going to just get right into it. I just really believe God is doing uh, a work in his people. He will not have us to be ignorant, and he fights for us. He works things out for us. I believe we serve a strategic God that a lot of times we don't know why or how he's going to work things out, but with faith. All things are possible, and through faith and by Him, all things are possible and all things can happen. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for this day. We thank and praise you for who you are and the things you get doing in us and through us. I pray, oh God, as I speak your word, God, that you, I believe you have given me, God, that you increase us in our faith, God, and help our unbelief. Wherever we may be struggling or lacking in faith, God, you increase us, oh God. We thank you for your work going for touch the hearts and the minds of your people in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So we're gonna start right at um, um Joshua uh, chapter two. But I'm gonna give you a brief uh synopsis of even chapter one. And chapter one was talking about uh Joshua, uh the son of Nun, and how he sent him in, you know, how he told him about uh the land that he had promised to Moses and around this time is when uh, Moses died and Joshua was the son of Nun, uh, one of Moses' ministers so he was still adhering to excuse me, what Moses had said and what Moses was going to bring to pass, amen and so um, the promise that he told him was that he was going to go in to possess the land and that um, in, in to be in, in, in the process of him going, be strong, be courageous, don't be afraid because he's going to be with them. He also told them that um, um, to uh, remember the words of the Lord. Don't let it depart out of his mouth, but for him to meditate on it day and night. And if he believed what the word said, if he held fast and lived out what the word said, um, that he will have good success in uh, his endeavor that he's going to set out to do. Uh, he also told him that um, for the people that didn't hearken to the word, that death was at the, was going to be uh, at their door. And so he said, uh, he told him to go, hearken to the word, um, unto Moses, all the things that he had said, um, the Lord had said unto Moses, and that these things were going to come to pass. Despite Moses passing away, he said these things were going to come to pass. And this was um, also to the tribes um, that for them to go in and to possess the land. Amen. And so chapter 2, verse 1, we read, And Joshua the son of Nun sent out Shittim two men to spy secretly, saying, Go view the land, even Jericho. And they went and came into a harlot's house named Rahab and lodged there. But prior to this, Joshua didn't go himself. He sent two spies. And sometimes, you know, um, when we're doing some things, we need, um, it's good to have accountability, somebody else to go with you. Uh, we know that there's strength in unity. Uh, scripture says one could chase a thousand, two could chase 10,000. But anyway, they went into the city uh, and they ended up at this uh, harlot, harlot's house named Rahab. Uh, go with me to verse 9. And so, um, I'm just going to read it. Sorry. And it was told the king Jericho saying, Behold, there came two men hither tonight of the children of Israel to search out the country. And so word had went out that the people were, was, someone was going to come to search out the country. And uh, the king of Jericho sent to Rahab saying, Bring forth the men that are come to thee. He's telling us, those men, those two spies that came, you need to bring them out. You need to bring them to us which entered into thine house, for they come to search out all the country. And the women took the two men and hid them and said thus, there came men unto me, but I wist not where they went, which whence they were. And so she said, yeah, they came to my house, but I don't know where they went. So yes, she lied to the man, to the, um, to the king. Um, but, you know, again, we serve a strategic God with the plan. It says, and it came to pass about the time of shutting up the gate when it was dark, uh, that the men went out, whither the men went, I will not pursue after them quickly. So she's telling them, yeah, they gone. So 
If you want them, you better go after them quickly if you want to overtake them. It says, but she had brought them up to the roof of her house and hid them with the stalks of flax, which she had laid in order upon the roof. And so, uh, you know, even though she sent them about their way, she knew the men were up on her roof. And the men pursued after them um, the way of Jordan unto the fords. And as soon as they which pursued after them were gone out, they shut the gate. And before they were laid down, she came up upon the roof and said unto them, unto the men, I know that the Lord hath given you the land and that your terror is fallen upon us. And so here she's saying, look, I know that the Lord has given you the land. See, sometimes our enemies or, you know, people that are not in agreement with us or think the way that we do or live the way that we do, sometimes the Lord can use them in a way that may seem unseemly to us. Um, and that all the inhabitants of the land faint because of you. And she was just saying like, you know, stuff has come upon them because what God was doing. And she sees, she says, for we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea for you. See, she heard how uh, when Moses and them, uh, when the children of Israel were leaving Egypt and how he split the Red Sea and dried it up for them. She said, uh, and when you came out of Egypt, what he did unto the two kings of the Amorites that were on the other side of Jordan, Shion and Og, when ye utterly destroyed them. And so she's already saying like, hey, I may not be living for him, but I know what he's able to do. I know what your God, what your Lord is able to do. Come on. Hallelujah. It says, and so, as soon as we had heard these things, our hearts did melt. Neither did there remain any more courage in them in any man because of you. For the Lord your God, he is God in heaven and above and in earth beneath. Come on, he's the God of all flesh. Hallelujah. Now, therefore, I pray you swear unto me by the Lord, since I have showed you kindness, that you will also show me kindness. So, you know, she took it upon herself to say, now I see, you know, I, I know what your God is able to do. And I know that there is nothing too hard for him. And I know that you guys will eventually take the land which God has sworn or possessed for you. So she began to make a pact with him, like with the uh, two spies. I said, well, you know what? Since I've done this for you, I need you to do something for me. And hey, sometimes we may uh, come into a place where we can uh, bargain, you know, but but in that, um, her bargaining chip, she saved a life for a life. Um, it says, since I have showed you kindness, yeah, okay, in verse 13, and that you will save a life, my father, and my mother and my brethren and my sisters and all that they have and deliver their lives, our lives from death. So come on, she was like, she seen an opportunity and she took it. She was a harlot, but she knew the power of the Lord. Come on. And it doesn't say much after that, but I just believe that in that, come on, her heart was changed. Um, it says, and the men answered her and said, our life for yours. So he said, okay, exchange. You save our life. You help us save our life. We will save yours. If the, um, the transition is to go forward, it will be done. It says then, um, it says, and the men answered her, our life for yours. And if ye utter not this, our business. So don't go telling people now, but we will do what we say we will do. And it shall be when the Lord hath given us the land, when the Lord bring us back into our land, that we will deal kindly and truly with you. So it is what it is. We will we will keep our word to what we said with you. Then she let them down by a cord through the window, for her house was upon the town wall, and she dwelt upon the wall. And she said unto them, Get you uh, to the mountain, lest the pursuers meet you, and hide yourselves there three days, until the pursuers be returned. And afterward, may ye go your way. And the men said unto her, We will be blameless of this thine oath, which thou hast made us swear. Uh, behold, when we come into the land, 
thou shalt bind this line, the scarlet thread, in the window which thou didst let us down by. So he's telling her, okay, now, so remember this. When we come back, the same red scarlet star that, that you let us down by, make sure you use the same thing. It says, and it shall be whosoever go out of the doors of thy house into the streets, his blood shall be upon his head. And so because only the pack was only with her and her family, anybody else came out of the house, they were going to die. Um, and it says that we will be guiltless because our, our vow, we made a pact that you're going to let them down by the same scarlet uh, scarf that you let us down by. Not coming out the front door, not speaking about it. If this was a secret, uh, like not to be spoken about, uh, especially to other people. It was only for her and her family. Um, let's see. And I will be guiltless and whosoever shall be with thee in the house, his blood shall be on his head, if any hand uh, be upon him. And after thou utter this our business, then we will be quit of thine oath, which thou hast made us swear. So she said, if you utter it, if you tell anybody, it's gonna be a done deal. Um, and she said, according to your words, so be it. And she went with them away and they departed and she bound them with scarlet uh, lying in the window. And they went their way and came into the mountain and that's when the men came out and returned them to them. And so, um, we're going to go to verse, uh, chapter 6, verses 23, 23 to um, 25, chapter 6. Chapter 6, okay. Chapter 6. And it says, And the young men that were spies went in and brought out Rahab and her father and her mother and the brethren and all that she had and they brought out all her kindred and left them without the camp of Israel and they burnt the city with fire and all that was therein only the silver and the gold and the vessels of brass of and of iron they put into the treasury of the house of the Lord and Joshua saved Rahab the harlot alive and her father's household and all that she said and she dwelleth in Israel even unto this day because she hid the messengers with which Joshua sent to spy out Jericho. Amen. Amen. If you also turn with me to James. Go with me to James uh, chapter 2 verses uh, 25 and 26. James chapter 2. Verses 25 and 26. And it said, Likewise, also uh, was Rahab the harlot justified by works when she had received the messengers and had sent them out another way. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. And so she had faith enough to believe that um, God was going to do just what he said. And because of her faith in God, her and her family was uh, remain alive. Um, if you would go with me to Exodus 14 and 4. Exodus 14 and 4. And it says, And I will harden Pharaoh's heart, that he shall follow after them. And I will be honored upon Pharaoh and all his hosts, and that the Egyptians may know that I am the Lord thy God. I'm sorry. Yes. My God. And so, we know that uh, whatever we set out to do, God is going to be with us. He will fight our battles. Uh, Proverbs 16 and 7. Proverbs 16 and 7. You can me to uh, Proverbs 16 and 7. <clears throat> And so we as a believers, we have to know um, that God is in control of all things. No matter what the situation may look like, whatever he's 
uh, putting your heart to do, you have to do it and believe as uh, in Rahab. She knew the power of God. Um, even Jacob, you know, he, he, he sent spies to go spy out the land, but he believed what the word of the Lord that was spoken to Moses. You know, sometimes we may have to, uh, may have to pick up a word that was spoken to uh, someone in our family or take on a vision, even like I think about um, with them building the uh, temple, Solomon and David, like sometimes uh, God may speak a vision to you. You may not fulfill it, but maybe your children or somebody else who God has uh, put that same vision on their heart. But again, what about some visions that God has already uh, brought to pass or even um, is still in the making? If he's put some things on your heart, he needs you to walk in the spirit of obedience because you will uh, be blessed. Uh, when a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. And so even Rahab, you know, she was part of the part of that village, you know, but she found peace with the men. Come on, hallelujah. Is there some things going on in your life that um, you may be believing God for? that um, may have seemed to uh, be a hindrance to you uh, prior to be a hindrance to you prior to you knowing or seeing the uh, end thereof. And so it's not all the time that we're gonna always know who God is and what he's doing. Uh, not who God is, but what he's doing. But sometimes he give us things in part. And so until we are able to um, truly trust him and have faith that he is who he say he is and that he will bring those things to pass come on we can miss out on a lot of things if we don't trust god hebrews 11 and 31 it says by faith the harlot rahab perished not with them that believed not and so even though the people around her perish even though some people may be going through some things around you when she had um she didn't perish because she had received the spies. Come on, when she had uh, right when she had received the spies with peace. Come on. So sometimes in our lives we have to trust that even though the mountain may look big, God said He's given us life and death to speak to the life and death is in the power of the tongue. He's given us the power to speak to the mountain to be thou removed. And sometimes some things may come in our life to make it seem like it's impossible, but the Lord has already had some things set up. Come on, because as when those two spies came into the uh, country where Rahab was, she hid them because she knew the power of the Lord. And sometimes you may set out on a business venture, um, whatever, and but you have to trust and know that those people that you're going to meet with, that the Lord may have a ram in the bush along the way. Come on, he may have a Rahab, come on, that may know the power and must may trust in uh the things that God said he was going to do. Everybody perished but her and her family. Come on. Now what type of, that, now she had faith. Come on, by faith, the heart of Rahab perished not with um, those who believe not. See, others may not have believed. Come on, and there's a lot of things going on in the world that may happen to others because they don't believe. But when you have belief in God, you have to trust and know again that the path has been made. Come on, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Come on, there's nothing too hard for God. Hallelujah. Come on, he's our, He's a strategic God. Come on, we don't serve an accidental God. When you come into uh, contact with people who you know um, may not share the same faith as you, but the Lord will use them because they will see that you are a believer and that you are a man of faith. And they trust because the God that you profess is almighty, is all-knowing. He's the God of heaven. He's the God of earth. He's the God of even under the earth. Come on. In the name of Jesus, I pray that um, something I've said today has increased you in your faith, that you are, um, hey, looking for the uh, Rahabs in your life, not the harlots, but the uh, woman that believed. The woman that believed God was going to do what he said he was going to do. The woman that knew, had heard the stories. So sometimes we got to find those stories in life that just to um, get into a better place with God and knowing who he is in our life. I pray that you've been encouraged on today. Thank you for tuning in. And again, today is Faith and Freedom Friday. Be encouraged.